You see, we are against Najib because he does not rule according to the laws of this country. He does not rule this country according to the laws of this country. If he had ruled this country according to the laws of this country, nothing would happen. We won't have this scandal. But he has not followed the laws. Now, if we, in our attempt to, to uh, overcome this problem, we ourselves disregard the laws of this country, then I think we are, we, we are not doing the right thing. We have to follow the laws. If he is removed, then we will have to go back to democracy. What would happen in a democracy if Najib is removed? We have to follow the law. If the law says you have to have an election, you have an election. If the law says you don't have an election, but the people who are in the majority chooses the lead, new leader, new prime minister, we have to abide. We cannot tell people, you are not following the law, and we also will not follow the law. That would be wrong. I'm not talking about getting rid of AMNO or, or whatever. I'm talking about us, Malaysians. Do we want the rule of law or we don't? If we say he is not following the rule of law, we ourselves must not do the same thing. We must follow the rule of law. What happens when we follow the rule of, the, of law, that is something that we cannot uh, reject. What happens if it is done according to the rule of law, we have to accept. Maybe when we have an election, the AMNO might lose or Barisan might lose or the opposition might lose. We don't know. But we have to follow the rule of law. If we don't, then we are going to have the same problem that we have today where the government is not following the rule of law. Yeah, Dr. P.P. Shah here. Um, may I ask to Dr. Made whether you have set a timeline for the signatures campaign. Is there any timeline so that we know how fast you are moving, where you are moving, how are things being done so that we can proceed towards the ultimate goal of getting uh, 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 Mr. Najib out of Premiership. Yeah. Can I answer now? Well, uh, there is no real timeline except that we would like this to happen before the next election. Before the next election. If we can do it today, do it today. All depends upon how many signatures we are able to gather. If we can get a few million signatures, we can straight away <laughs> go ahead with our plan to appeal to the rulers. But if we take a long time to sign, then maybe people will lose heart and that is not good. So the sooner you sign, the better it is in terms of our chance to carry out this, uh, this action to remove Najib. Thank you. Uh, my name is Adeline, and um, my question for you is, assuming the declaration goes through, how do you propose a succession of leadership after Najib leaves? Thank you. Yeah, as I said just now, we need to abide by the laws of this country. The laws of this country provides for the election or the, the choice of prime minister. So if he is no longer prime minister, what does the law say about the, who should succeed him? We go back to the law. It may be that the present party that is in the majority will elect or choose another one of them to become prime minister. Yes, that can happen. But there is an election coming. At the election, people can reject or accept the new Prime Minister. 
because ours is a democratic law abiding country we need to stick by the law even if it causes us a lot of pain so i will not say i cannot say who will succeed najib it is up to the law to determine the process of selecting a new leader thank you i think we we live in a law abiding country we have rules we have regulations we have all kinds of um, provision to prevent abuses but nothing no, no law in the world can prevent abuses done by people who wish to abuse the system so we we do believe that there are a lot of weaknesses in our system which needs to be studied to make sure that in future what happens today will not happen again but i can assure you that no matter how good are our laws our rules our regulations when a person is determined to break or to undermine or to abuse the law and he is helped by some people who are well uh, some executives then still we may not we may be faced with a problem that we are facing today so i agree we should study and uh, make corrections to the uh, the constitution even and the laws but please remember that when somebody wants to undermine it somebody wants to abuse it they can always do so it is up to the system to to try and prevent such abuses from taking place now for example if najib orders that something wrong is done and it is not done then he is powerless but when we they have under him there are people who are willing to carry out wrong instructions that is the problem that we face today that officers in the government are prepared to do things which are wrong because they fear najib thank you we're talking about how the ruling coalition right now of people right now ruling the country they are wrong and they're not making the right decisions in the event in 2 years the opposition were to take over were the people to vote the opposition do you personally think as a neutral citizen the opposition is ready to take on a country like malaysia thank you very much uh, i don't know whether the opposition is ready to rule the country is if that is what you are asking about but we will have to go through the process of choosing the party or the leader who will rule this country it is up to the people to decide the essence the essence of an election is that people will choose the best people to rule the country but if they choose the worst people to rule the country then it is too bad for them but in the case of najib he was good until he became prime minister you know some people are very clean but when they become prime minister they become very dirty we we cannot i mean we don't know we really don't know so people in malaysia are very sophisticated now they understand what democracy is about how democracy works and i think in future they will be very careful about who they choose in order to form the government of this country thank you nama saya muhammad saleh bin yahya berasal dari tempat ini tanjung tokong jadi saya ingin tanya kepada tun satu soalan yang straight forward lah jadi najib kita kata pada keseluruhan yang telah ditolak oleh rakyat di luar parlimen bersama dengan perwakilan yang kita kata 82 daripada pakatan harapan atau pakatan rakyat maknanya najib telah ditolak jadi apa ikhtiar kita untuk mengemukakan satu figure yang melebihi najib untuk mengambil alih pentadbiran negara ini daripada masa sekarang hingga ke hadapan sekiranya kita tidak ada figure itu kita masih kabur dan terombang ambing jadi saya haraplah 
Tun dapat memberi sedikit pencerahan Kerana sebagaimana yang Tun kata Yang ada dalam UMNO ni semua pemakan dedah Jadi macam tak ada Dan UMNO tidak ada tidak ada wakil yang boleh ditonjolkan Untuk mengambil alih kepimpinan Najib Adakah Tengku Razali tidak makan dedah? Persoalan dia Dan boleh diterima mewakili okay. UMNO Satu, untuk mengambil ya, alih Satu, Dan yang kedua Satu soalan Kalau, kalau sekiranya Bukan Tunggu Razali Adakah Anwar Ibrahim Itu persoalan saya Terima kasih Terima kasih, Terima kasih. Sebenarnya Kita Memilih Orang yang kita fikir Boleh uh, Berkhidmat Dengan baik Biasanya Bila dia 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 dicalon Dan dia berkempen Untuk dipilih Dia nampak Cukup cantik Cukup elok Bersih segala-galanya Malangnya bila dapat kuasa dia jadi lain Jadi kita tak ada cara Untuk nak menentukan orang yang kita pilih itu Adalah orang yang akan pegang kepada janji-janjinya Kalau kita tengok dulu Tak pernah siapa pun tegur tentang Najib Tak pernah siapa kata Oh Najib ni tak boleh jadi Perdana Menteri kita pun sangka macam itu dia memang satu orang yang baik sebab tu dia dipilih. Jadi bila dia dipilih dia jadi perdana menteri barulah kita tahu bahawa dia bukanlah uh, orang yang layak dipilih sebagai perdana menteri. Jadi saya tak boleh jamin sama ada Tuku Zali ka Anwar Ibrahim ka siapa pun belum dapat kuasa, baik. Dapat kuasa, jadi lain. Terima kasih.